In My Next Life is a short story by Pam Houston, originally published in the collection Cowboys Are My Weakness in 1992. This collection won the 1993 Western States Book Award and was known for its emotional portrayal of relationships, including those between men and women, childhood trauma, and the complexities of native and white identity. The story follows an unnamed narrator, a white woman who introduces her tale as a love story with a unique twist. It's about two women who fall in love but never engage in a physical relationship. The narrator's journey begins when she encounters Abby, a mixed-race woman of Native American heritage working as a horse trainer. The narrator seeks Abby's help to handle a difficult horse. Abby's extraordinary talent with horses captivates the narrator, and they quickly develop a strong connection. Both women carry emotional baggage, struggling in their relationships with men who fail them in various ways. Abby's boyfriend, Roy, is involved with drugs, while the narrator's boyfriend is an alcoholic. Despite these flaws, the women choose to stay in these relationships. Abby and the narrator have many differences too. Abby has a traumatic past, with her education emphasizing her white heritage and neglecting her native side. However, she has since embraced her native heritage and practices their customs. This cultural divide becomes significant when Abby discovers a lump in her breast and decides to pursue shamanic healing instead of medical diagnosis, believing in the power of nature and magic. The narrator is initially skeptical of Abby's choice, being a product of the 60s hippie movement, and finds it challenging to accept Abby's beliefs. She seeks advice from her gay friend Thomas, who suggests that their love will help bridge the cultural divide. Two years after finding the lump, Abby's health deteriorates and she ends up in the hospital with metastatic cancer. Despite a double mastectomy, it is too late to stop the cancer from spreading. Abby chooses to forego chemotherapy and radical treatments. During Abby's time in the hospital, the women express their physical affection through nurturing and almost maternal touch, as their physical relationship is no longer possible due to Abby's illness. The narrator helps Abby find peace in her final moments. The story ultimately conveys that love can be a bridge across cultural differences, helping the narrator come to terms with Abby's unconventional beliefs. Despite finding a soulmate, the narrator experiences a profound loss as Abby's life ends. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.